What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Now, we may not be the best, and every play won't be perfect, but I guarantee you we'll have a good time. Smash that like button for us if you're hyped, and I hope you enjoy. What's good, YouTube? That one I need to hear back again once again. Take you today, we are back with another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire live Wi-Fi battle here on the channel. And we are communicating as hard as we can. We have a battle day against another proud member of the Nappy Nation who goes by the name of the Grand Bomber. I've actually seen his name before, I think, in one of PK's live streams, I think. So, I don't know. He's been around. He is a supporter of the channel. So, I figured, why not? Let's battle him. Of course, we are here for another OU Wi-Fi battle. And we are going to go ahead and rock out with a powerful... Powerful. I'm gonna go with music 16 because why the fuck not? But either way, if you guys are hyped for today's Wi Fi battle, and of course, if you like to, uh, if you're a problem member of the Happy Nation, I should say, I'm all over the place with this. Make sure you smash that like button down below for us because you know your support is greatly appreciated. A uh, link to his channel and Twitter will be included in the description. And if you want to follow me on Twitter to have a chance to be featured in the Wi Fi battle, link to my Twitter account in the description as well. Woo! I got the intro all types of fucked up this week. I apologize. But let's check out his team. He's rocking a Rotom Wash, a Conkelder. A Manectric, which uh, is possibly Mega. Uh, actually, no, it is Mega because he can't have a Mega Gengar. He's also got a uh, Gengar there, a Ferrothorn, and a Talonflame. So he's got a Super OU team. Let me let me let me finish writing this down. Let me let me let me let me let me finish writing this down. So he's got a super duper OU team. We're rocking out with our OU team that we've been using so far. It's actually our third battle, so we should have a new team coming up next. Uh, but we have Scrub It Up, our Rotom Wash, Titania, our Mega Gardevoir, uh, Abundance, our Landorus, Kronos, our Terrakion, almost said Terrakion, our Kronos, JOT, our Scizor, and Nigel, our Ferrothorn as well. So I feel like he's gonna either lead with the Ferrothorn for rocks, he could lead with a Talonflame if he really wanted to. Um, the Manectric is a possibility because of Volt Switch, so is the Rotom Wash, but I think we're gonna just go ahead and rock out with our safest lead possible, being Abundance Arlanderous. I kinda sorta wanna lead with, uh, Nigel. Ah, I take that back, I take that back, I take it back. How quickly, how quickly, how quickly, how quickly can I do it? Can I get it quick enough? Shit! Oh, I just got it! <laughs> I got it at the last second. I wanted to lead with Nigel, our Ferrothorn, because I want to get rocks up for that um, Talonflame. Because he does not have a spinner on his team. That's the thing. So if he leads with anybody except for the Talonflame or the Manectric, we should be good. I don't know, the Conkelder might hurt a little bit, but we should be able to live a hit from the Conkelder. Maybe, kind of, sort of, maybe. But either way, whoever he's going to go out with, or whoever he's going to go out to, they're going to get hit, smacked real hard with a Rocky Helmet, Iron Barbs combo. I don't, I'm all over the place this morning. This is going to be a weird Wi-Fi battle. I fucked up the intro. I almost didn't get all my Pokemon chosen. He left with his own Ferrothorn, so we're going to swap rocks. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm happy. We're going to get our Stealth Rocks up, which is good because, like I said, he doesn't have a Spinner by any means. So, getting our Stealth Rocks up is our main priority. So we're going to swap rocks. Um, honestly, I don't think there's really anybody on our team that I can think of off the top of my head. Later is Terrakia, Scizor, Ferrothor, Gardevoir, Water Wash. Yeah, there's no one on our team that I can really think of that would really... It, it doesn't matter, like, rocks aren't going to hurt us that much. But, is he going to go out to his Talonflame? He went out to his Gengar. Okay, that's fine with me. That's fine with me. I want to get my own rocks up for him for his Talonflame, and my question is, what is he going to go for now, because why would he go out to his Gengar against me? What is he trying to do here? That was such an odd switch. The only thing I can think of, he might perish song, substitutes a thing. I'm gonna protect and see what he's gonna go for. I'm gonna protect and see what he's uh, thinking of here. Cause I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know, like, there's a lot of possible Gengar sets, but the question is, like, what? Oh, he is sub. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> he is sub. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So he's gonna try and set up immediately with this. And my thing is... I'm just not 100% sure what exactly I want to do right now to get past this sub. Cause Gengar could dish out a decent amount of damage to anybody on our team. 
And it scares me. 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 Because we don't exactly have a real special defensive wall on our team. We have physical walls with Jehuti. Um, our our fire th fire throne here is sassy nature. So as long as it's not anything that's super effective, and Gengar doesn't get. I mean, Shadow Ball. I mean, Shadow Ball is what it was expected. I was gonna say he doesn't get uh, like flame throw or anything like that. We should be able to eat it up perfectly fine, just like that. Oh, oh, that was a crit. We would eat it up even better. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to see if I can at least try to break this slope. Suit. Can we get it out of here? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. So now what I think I'm going to do, I feel like he's going to go for another... I'm going to Leech Seed. Because unless he gets another crit Shadow Ball, we're good. And I want to get a little bit of health back. Last thing... Oh! I forgot all about Focus Blast! <laughs> I forgot all about Focus Blast! Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, because Nigel wasn't really blocking anybody on his team, per se. Uh, Talonflame bops him, Manetric can bop him, Conkelder can bop him. Really, the Rotom Wash is all we were stopping with, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit here? He's Life Orb, too, isn't he? He was really the only one that we, we were there who was stopping on his team. I mean... Only other thing we could try and run off of that would be maybe some Life Orb, Rocky Helmet damage, but it's fine. I'm not too concerned about it. I'm going to go out to Abundance because with us being Scarfed, I'm pretty sure we can outspeed this Gengar. And Intimidate in case you want to Shadow Punch us. You know, Shadow Punch doesn't miss. Uh, but I want to see here, I want to see here. Based on everybody else on his team, if he does decide to switch, because he knows we can't Earthquake him. Actually, he's got two Levitate users and a Flying type, so his team is pretty Earthquake friendly. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to U-turn... I think I want to U-turn out. But if I U-turn out, who am I going to U-turn out to? I could U-turn out to Terrakion. I don't think we'll outspeed him then. Because I mean, either I Stone Edge or I U-turn. If I Stone Edge, it's going to hurt everybody on his team except for... Except for his Pharaoh Thorn. I'm gonna Stone Age, because if I can kill this Gengar, I wanna kill him right now. He withdrew. I was gonna say the Pharaoh Thorn and the Conkelder are the only two. And he goes at the Pharaoh Thorn. Okay. I should have U-turned. God damn it. Should have U-turned. Cause now it's gonna give him a free chance to set up rocks, so oh well. Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. I actually saw Pharaoh Thorn on the list at the last second. Like, I knew Conk Elder resisted it, but I was like, is it just Conk Elder? No, Pharaoh Thorn's there too. Okay, so now when it comes to this, we actually have a few options on what we can do. I'm kind of sort of leaning towards Scrub a Dub or Jehuti. If I'm just being honest. I think I might want to go out to Jehuti because I could U turn out on him. And if anything, that's going to force his Pharaoh Thorn out. And we could U-turn out to scrub -a -dub or else, whoever else he decides to go out to. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And plus, if he wants to go for something sneaky like a gyro ball or something like that, he's not going to get any sort of real damage off if I go out to Jehuti. So go ahead, set up your rocks like I know you want to. Oh, he's going to... Oh, he's going to T-Wave. That's actually fine with me. If there was if there was anybody on the team that I would want T-Waved, it would be Jehuti. Because Jehuti is honestly just here to bullet punch and U-turn. It sucks that we can't get rid of it, because we don't have um, aromatherapy on anybody. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm actually battling on an empty stomach. I'm hungry as a motherfucker right now. That's probably why I messed up the intro and all that other stuff. So it's you turn out, and you're not going to get anything from those seeds at all. Not a goddamn thing from those seeds. It just sucks. It sucks because if we do go out to... Who does he have? Who does he have? He has Gengar. He has Gengar, and Gengar is going to be an issue for our Terrakion. Let me look here, let me look here. Let me look here, let me look here. Yeah, Gengar is an issue for Terrakion, because as long as Gengar is around, I can't safely close combat. As long as Talonflame is around, I can't safely close combat. But if he wants to switch into his Talonflame on these rocks, then by all means, be my guest. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this time to actually just go straight out into Titania. Because from this range, see, I don't know. I don't know if from this range it'll be enough, because still resist fairy. And the last thing I want to do is get hit by a, um, whatchamacallit. 
get hit by a gyro ball. I'm what I, my, my idea with Kronos is that I can try and force him out and get him to switch out to the Gengar. But the thing is, I can't do anything else but close combat him if he does stay in. Poison Jab's not going to do anything. Close Combat's not going to do anything if he swaps out. Stone Edge isn't going to do anything if he stays in. Earthquake's not going to do anything if he stays in. I'm in a pickle! I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to Scrub-A-Dub. And I'm going to go for the safe Will-O-Wisp. He, uh, he can't Thunder Wave me. And I'm going to Will-O-Wisp. And if he goes into anybody but his Ferrothorn, that's going to be an issue. But if he has Conk Elder... That's a problem as well. I don't want to risk burning that Conk Elder, and that's going to be an issue for me too. I'm going to Volt Switch again. I mean, really, there's nothing that I can safely do. His team is, like I said, it's standard OU, and it, everything that he has counters each other. So really, all it comes down to is I'm going to have to like slowly whittle away at his Pokemon until I get one down and one out of here, and then I can start to slowly put the puzzle pieces together. So the question is, what did he end up going for? I feel like he went for a Leech Seed. I feel like he went for a Leech Seed or another Grass type attack on me. I'm gonna go out to Jehuti. Fuck it. Fuck it. Like I said, I'm, I'm in this position where I'm just here. Oh, he's gonna put the Stealth right because he sees the game that's happening. Ugh, that's so aggravating. That's so aggravating. Okay, 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 okay. Like I said, I just have to whittle down one of his Pokemon. If I get rid of the Gengar, I'm free to close combat everybody. If I can get rid of the Ferrothorn, that'll be a huge nuisance out of the way. I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to... Ugh! See, the problem is Steel Resist Bug. That's why it's not doing that much. I just want to get it to a point where it's enough damage for Titania to come in and kill. Oh, and he's going to swap out. This is actually not bad. Out to his Talonflame. Ooh. This is actually not bad at all. I guess he's trying to force my, uh, whatchamacallit, out. But I can U-turn straight out into Rotom Wash, and his Talonflame is gone. He's going to have to go for a Brave Bird or something to make use of this Talonflame, because if he brings it in back in on the rocks, then... He screwed. Actually, I should have gone out to... Oh, fuck. I should have gone out to Landorus. Got the Intimidate drop to truly make his Talonflame useless. But, I mean, at this point... At this point, if I can get rid of this Talonflame... No, I can't because there's still a Conk Elder. Fuck. I was going to say, if I get rid of the Talonflame, I'm free to Will-O-Wisp. But the Conk Elder's there as well, so I can't Will-O-Wisp the Conk Elder. Okay. So, at this point... Whatever he decides to do... See, the thing is, he doesn't have anybody that can really manhandle my Rotom unless he's carrying, like, Power Whip. That's the thing. So I kind of sort of want to stay in a Hydro Pump to kill this thing. Because but if he's going to hit us, I want to stay in Hydro Pump and then rest next turn. I'm going to Hydro Pump and risk it. Please, for the love of all that is holy, Rotom, get your spectacles out. He's going to flip. What? What? what, what, what? Was he expected to swap? I don't know why he just flare blitzed. I don't know why he just flare blitzed. But okay, down goes the talent flame. So that's one seriously offensive threat gone on his team. So I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. We lost a wall, he lost an attacker. And I might not need to rest now. But the question is, who is he going to go out to? I feel like his own Rotom Wash, whereas Manectric are the only honest. I guess he can go out to Gengar too if he wanted to. Uh, I'm actually kind of scared at this point because I don't want to lose my Rotom just yet because Rotom is still here and Rotom it's just I, I don't want to lose him too I, I don't want to lose him yet because we're still early on in the battle we you know we both still have five Pokemon left and with his Manectric being a thing Rotom can handle the Manectric the Gengar kind of sort of scares me because he knows he'll outspeed question is is he going to do over 90 points of damage with a Shadow Ball or is he going to substitute I 
mean, he outspeeds us, so no matter what we go for. I'm gonna try and kill it. I'm gonna try and kill it. I'm gonna Hydro Pump. I feel like rest is the smarter thing to do, but I'm gonna try and kill it. On the off chance that we do live this... Come on, Rotom. Come on, Rotom. Come on, Rotom. Fuck! I forgot he's life orb. God damn it. There's no way we're gonna live that. So Rotom's down and out. Mm, Rotom was honestly only there to handle the... Manectric, so we're just gonna have to work around that. This is aggravating. 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 Okay, so we still can't earthquake. We still can't earthquake. But we do outspeed him. And if he's afraid of a stone edge again, he's gonna go back out to Ferrothorn or Conk Elder. But the question is, is he gonna predict that again? Honestly, 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 I can I can do whatever I want to do. I can do whatever I want to do in this sense because Bug resist fighting and we're impish nature. So if I do U-turn, if he predicts the U-turn and stays in, I don't know if that'll be it. I mean, we're adequate nature. That might be enough to kill. I'm sitting there thinking like if we do go for Stone Age and he goes out to Ferrothorn, we can then safely hard switch out to Jehuti because he can't Thunder Wave us. We're already paralyzed. None of his offensive moves are gonna work. We should be good with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay in Stone Edge again. He stayed in. Perfect. He predicted the U-turn. He was trying to predict me predicting him. There we go. So the Gengar is down and out. So now we're free to close combat. He was going to predict me to predict him to go out to the Ferrothorn. So he was gonna stay in, uh, expecting to live a U-turn, which I don't know if Gengar would from that range. He might because Poison resists. Uh, Poison resist bug and it's not stabbed from us. So he might have lived that one and he would have gotten a free Shadow Ball off on anybody that we would have gone for. But, like I said, no matter who he wants to stay in on, we're good to go. So now he sends in this Rotom. And I know Trick Rotom is a common thing. And if his Rotom is Scarfed, he might... Uh, well, he might... I'm pretty sure he will outspeed us because we're adamant nature. We're not jolly. So when it comes to that... I'm actually... It actually makes me kind of nervous. This Rotom is the last thing that's keeping me from Earthquaking everything and anything! I mean, Ferrothorn's gonna eat up an Earthquake as well, but... Earthquake is what we need for this Manectric, so we have to, have to, have to absolutely keep Abundance alive. Because Abundance completely checks Manectric, unless he's rocking HP Ice. A lot of times, Manectrics will carry HP Ice, Flamethrower, Volt Switch, and Thunderbolt. So, we need to watch out for that. We really do need to watch out for that. So, Abundance and Kronos, we need alive. So, what I think I'm gonna do... We don't necessarily need Jehuti. So Jehuti is going to become my like pivot switch, what I'm going to use to just eat a hit and U-turn right back out. So we're going to see what he goes for, and we'll see if he is... Because I could roost if I really wanted to, if I wanted to break through. He Hydro Pump. That makes me feel like he is... Either he's super bulky, which I mean I can't, I can't bullet punch him because he'll resist it anyway. Mmm... He actually quad resist it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a I'm gonna go for a roost right now if I can. Because I don't want JT to go down because we already lost our he's our pivot switch and he's what we use to eat up hits and swap back out. You know, anything besides a flamethrower. But at the same time, our other What the hell was he expecting there? <laughs> I don't know what he was expecting there, but okay. I was gonna say, JOT is the only wall that we have right now. He's the only wall that we have right now. So the only thing I can really do right now... I feel like he's gonna Volt Switch now, and I really don't want that to happen. But I'm gonna U-turn. Well, even if, even if he Volt Switches, he'll go before we do, and that'll give us the priority when we switch. Well, not priority, but you know what I mean opportunity when we switch because he's gonna outspeed and he'll full switch out on us oh he withdrew that's even better any sort of swap is good for us so he knows he's well number one we know he's not scarfed I know that much I know he's not scarfed which is good that means that our landers can outspeed him and if we get if we whittle him down enough we can bop that rotom with landers good job good job good job good job Jehuti good job so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna go out to my Tanya, our Gardevoir, because from this range, I don't give a fuck. 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 From this range, a Hyper Voice better fucking kill. I feel like I'm being, I'm playing very risky right now. 
I feel, you know, Veritorn's special defense can't be that good. I'm, I'm very nervous. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not used to playing OU. You guys know that. I'm not used to playing OU. So for me, I, I don't have, like, natures and movesets and, like, how much damage. You know, you kind of sort of know what I'm talking about. Like, when you play enough, you kind of sort of, like, can tell from battling the Pokemon, like, this is going to do enough, that's going to do enough. I'm just not proficient enough in OU yet. So we're in a hybrid voice. And it's enough to do in the Ferrothorn. Okay. So I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Half the team is down now. All he has left is Conk Elder, which gets bopped by uh, Titania here. Nectric uh, could probably hurt Titania, but if all if, if worse comes to worse, then I can just hyper beam the fuck out of Nectric and make sure he's gone. Um, and then the Rotom is here as well. Honestly, I, I probably won't need to uh, hyper beam the Nectric. A hyper voice should be enough to do in. Alright, so out comes the Rotom. We know he's not Scarfed, so we should outspeed him. I'm going to hyper voice him. Or no, Hyper Voice would do more damage, because he's got the Pixelate boost as well. I was going to say, I want to Psy Shock him, but I'm going to Hyper Voice him. I'm going to Hyper Voice him and see if we can't get rid of this Rotom, or whittle him down at least. Mm, he just lived! No, that should have been the time that he missed! Fuck! That should have been the time that he missed! Ugh! <sighs> Little Rotom bitch! <laughs> Rotom bitch form! Rotom bitch form. Okay, Hyper Voice it up, it is. So the Rotom should be down and out. The Rotom should be down and out, because he's gone now. You're going to leave this guy in? You're going to leave this guy in? You're, you're going to paint split? What are you going to do here? What are you going to do here? What are you going to do here? Honestly, well, I don't know if, if that would have done more or not. Would a paint split, would it, would a paint split have done more if he would have uh, taken the hit? Yeah, it would have, because we would have shared the pain. If I hit him with Hyper Voice and he lived with that much and he paint splitted me, that would have done more. Oh, God, here comes this Manectric. Oh, shit. Oh shit, the Mega Manectric is here. Okay, so when it comes to this, 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 I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous because when it comes to his Conk Elders, Conk Elder could carry Ice Punch and Mach Punch. So that means that we would get one good Earthquake off with Abundance. And I feel like that's not going to one shot the Conk Elder unless we get a crit. And then Kronos is going to have to come in and close combat him. That's if we don't kill this Manectric right here, right now. I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I don't know what Manectric, I don't know what Man Manectric's base speed is. I know Mega Manectric is like 120 something, maybe 130, I'm not sure off the top of my head, I know he's fast as shit, but is it enough? He, actually no, take it back, I'm pretty sure it's more than enough, because uh, Mega Revoir's base speed is only 100, yeah I was going to say, I'm pretty sure regular Manectric's faster than 100. Oh, we lived it! Titania! Ah! Titania lived it with eight! Let's go, Titania! Let's fucking go! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, so all he has left is the Conk Elder. Let's go in! That was extra security. I'm not sure off the top of my head if the Hyper Voice would have been enough to kill. And of course we had to recharge, so he's gonna he's gonna do into Titania right now with his Conk Elder. But... But, 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 that was so powerful. Oh my god, I'm so proud of Titania. I'm so proud of Titania. That is twice now in our series of three battles with this team that Titania has held on at the very end and came back and just destroyed niggas. I love that so much. Titania, MVP of the team. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so Drain Punch is going to hurt. We get the Intimidate drop off, which is great. Drain Punch is going to hurt. Uh, an ice punch is gonna hurt as well, and what I'm sitting here thinking that I could U-turn on him, go out to um, Terrakion, expecting the ice punch, close combat the fuck out of him. He'll drain punch me and kill. No, because then the drain punch is gonna do that. I was gonna say I want to get a second intimidate drop off on him, but you know what? I'm not gonna play any games. I'm just gonna earthquake the fuck out of him. I'm just gonna earthquake him and do whatever damage I can. Ugh! That that'll be enough. That'll be enough. That'll be enough. I was going to say, because I could play that game and try and swap out and swap in and swap out and swap in and swap out and swap in. But that should be enough for Terrakion Kronos here to come in and just do the damn thing. He could mock punch us and that would hurt, but I think we should be able to uh, live it. We should be able to live at least one mock punch. But we're going to close combat and hopefully claim victory here right now. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. If he gets through Kronos... If he gets like the mother of all crits and <laughs> one shots Kronos, which, oh, here comes the mock punch, Kronos! If that was a crit, that would have been scary as shit. 
but the close combat should be enough to do him in, and the Conk Elder goes down. So that was an interesting battle, to say the least. I was not in my right mind when we started this battle off, as you guys can tell from the janky half-assed intro. But we did end up actually uh, taking a victory over the Grand Bomber. His Gengar was really the, the issue for us, which I mean... <laughs> What can I say? Gengar is a threat. But either way, if you guys enjoyed today's Wi-Fi battle, definitely make sure you smash the like button down below for us and help us break our goal of 2,500 likes if we can break 2,500 likes. So make sure to keep the Wi-Fi battles coming for you guys. Of course, make sure you check out Grand Bomber's channel if he has one and his Twitter, both of which are linked in the description. And make sure you go and follow me over on Twitter as well so you have the chance to be featured in a Wi-Fi battle here on the channel. With that though, let us know any set suggestions you might have, especially since we're going to be building a new team after this. This is our third battle. We went 3-0 with this team. I'm very proud of that. Let us know any set suggestions you might have, and let us know who you think the MVP of the battle was. But with that, I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you all so much once again for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube. Now everyone I need to. Uh, I'm out.